Now it's time for the Duel Monsters season finale of I Challenge You. In this series of episodes, I'll be teaming up with everyone's favorite feeling lucky bot to take on a variety of challenges against some incredible AI competitors. This is our last chance to see some of the most busted cards in Yu-Gi-Oh's history. So without further ado, get ready to rumble! And welcome back to the final finale, the last ultimate final finale of the DM era of I Challenge You. For this one, I have prepared a special challenge. I finally get to play the cards today. After all of this time, after staring at the incredible polls that I cannot put in my deck because Borgerbot cannot be trusted with them, I get to play whatever I want. And we have put together probably the most insane goat format deck I have ever seen in my life. This is, this card is a grand total of 12 cards in the main and side that are legal in GX. And some of these are very banned in modern day Yu-Gi-Oh too. Uh, this is a ridiculous deck and I get to play it today. I have a couple of contenders for today to play against and then and then Borgerbot gets a chance to play this deck against Gage and Simo's frog decks from the Lost Millennium. So that's what we're playing today. I'm so excited to play these. I can't wait to see the chaos, so to speak, that will ensue. Maybe we'll even get to perform a Yada Lock. Our first challenger in our many decks that the Discord has submitted that they think can take on my DM era deck is called Spell Dominator. What's the plan? The plan is to use things like That Grass Looks Greener and Reasoning to put Dark Magician of Chaos on the board and just continuously hit me with ridiculous spell cards. I do have Imperial Order, but I've got to draw it. And this deck has some incredible tools to work with between Snatch Steel, Graceful Charity, Pot of Greed, their own Raigeki, Lightning Storm, Harpy's Feather Duster. There's a chance that the bot is just going to own me on the first card played. Let's see what happens. I have asked chat whether they think the hotter DM staple is going to be the nice IO or the pff, nice DMOC. And it seems that they're voting in favor of IO. And I agree. I think I can beat any deck. If Borgerbot could do it, I can do it. I believed in Borgerbot, so I can believe in myself. Let the games begin. It's a little weird not just like immediately getting into the game. We're going to go for, mm, nope. All right. Uh, we go first for this one, right? I think we go first. Yeah, let's try for going first. In case we can get the nice IO. This is a terrible starting hand. I see why you said that I probably shouldn't try to run three chaos sorcerers, but you know what? I'll have the out for the D mock. I'll pass. <laughs> The forceful sentry, no! Take the chaos sword. Yes, it took the chaos sorcerer. We're going foolish. We're going, you know what? I'll take it. A card destruction is A-OK -okay in my mind, especially it gives me an imperial order. I'll take that. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, let's go for, uh, let's go for witch here. <laughs> uh, battle phase, we'll just, th thanks for the card destruction, buddy. Uh, really appreciate it. That really, uh, you know, if you, if, you know, uh, you really had to do it to us. You really do. Oh, if that had hit, if that had hit the IO, I would have been so boned. Oh, they just, I mean, if you insist, if, if you insist, if you insist. All right. What are we sending off of this? I don't think we need Sandkin if we already have Witch. Uh, I can deal without a breaker against this deck. Um, Jowgen? Yeah, we don't need Jowgen. Uh, and then I'm going to choose a Chaos Orc. And then one last thing I want in my grave. I don't have any Monster Reborns or anything like that. So I am going to send away... Mm, we'll send away the Wing Blast. Oh, they gave us Jowgen. I probably should have expected that. 
Uh, they gave us the smallest monster. I will remember that for the future. I should have used Yada. Next time I got the get painful choice, I'm sending Yada. Let's just normal summon our Shining Angel and continue to get in. Yeah, they must have bricked on double Demok. And somehow in a 60 card deck, the only the only answer to this is that they bricked on Demok. Uh, main phase two, I guess we just set the torrential again. You know, if they've got if they've got uh, lightning storm or harpy's feather duster in that hand, then I guess they're just nice with it. They're going to set. Oh no! They've set the temperance, and I drew the second IO. Let's go. <laughs> just attack into it. I don't know how much defense temperance has. It's got eleven. Okay, we'll attack in. This is truly the brick of all time. I don't know how in a 60 card deck you bricked on a three. <gasps> okay, chat. I know this is the wrong decision. I know this is not what I'm supposed to do. I kind of just want to see your grass resolve. I'm going to let it go. I want to see the mill. <laughs> let them cook. Yeah, they just passed anyway. <laughs> San Gan beats. San Gan beats. San Gan beats. San Gan beats. Let's go! This I, I genuinely feel like I'm in the end game of, of, of an RPG where I'm just overleveled for absolutely everything and I have all the greatest tools out of them. Well that 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 happened. Okay, what are we going to what are we siding into here? Uh, do we side into Spirit Reaper? I think Spirit Reaper is very funny against this deck. Honestly, I think we even side out of Heavy Storm, right? Let's bring in Reaper. I think this card is very funny against their deck. Spirit Reaper and Jaugen. Jaugen is very good, that's true. Do we want to see if I can beat them without Io? Let's see what happens if I try to beat them without Io. We'll bring in Banisher. Banisher's a good card. Let's see if I can win with no Imperial Orders. But they do have to contend with Ordeal of a Traveler. <laughs> One copy of Ordeal of a Traveler. All right, side deck and completed. Let's go game two. Uh, so this is an opening for sure. They opened with Smellbook of Judgment. How are you passing? What do are you missing that you have? Okay, all right. You, you deserve this for what you've done. Actually, it doesn't. Nobody deserves this. We'll send a Chaos Orc. We'll send, uh, how much attack does Yada have? This is a crucial question. I need them to give me the Yada. Uh, Yada has 200 attack. Okay, so I can send a Reaper. I can send a Jaugen. I can send a Sangan. And I'll send a... Uh, Banisher of the Light. They gave me Spirit Reaper instead of Yada. The AI knows. They know that they will lose if they give me Yada. <laughs> it's just normal summon Reaper. Let's get in. Spirit Reaper, Spirit Reaper, Spirit Reaper. Discard change of heart. The out to Spirit Reaper. <laughs> We've done it, folks. All right, we're going to set two and pass. Confiscation. Uh-oh. There goes Raikeki. Or there goes Mystic Tomato. Okay, I'll take it. What do they have in their hand? Why, why didn't they activate the con? Uh, was that just... Well, just... You know what? We'll normal summon the witch. Let's get in here. Go Spirit Reaper. Yeah, it must be like all three Demox. Oh, it's Spellbook of Life, which they can't activate with no monsters in the grave. Rip. Well, hopefully I'll help them by putting a monster in their grave. We'll set Ordeal of a Traveler. We'll play into Harpy's Feather Duster. How are they passing on this board? <laughs> we discarded the Soul Charge. They just got all their resurrection cards in one hand. Pot of Greed. Okay, Pot of Greed. Spiritualism. Okay. Temperance. All right. Spellbook of Power. Okay. 
Temperance. We're doing it. Demock, let's go for a spellbook of judgment. Why judgment? Of all the things in your grave, you have soul charge. You have spellbook of life. Why judgment? Uh. Do we ordeal of a traveler here? No, I say we regeki it. I think we should regeki it. It's worth giving up the witch for. Oh, I'll take the pot of green, sure. Uh, have I found the funniest possible win condition? I think I have found the funniest possible win condition. I, I, you know, if this is, if this is the way it goes, wait, wait a second. Okay. There's a problem with this plan. This doesn't do enough damage because if I destroy Demok, is this for every card sent? Oh, it's for every card sent. Yeah, this does the trick. Okay. Uh, so we got to start with Raigeki. <laughs> All right. And then we're going to special summon the guy. Uh, we will banish... Uh, Banisher and Tomato. All right. All right. The time has come. We're going to do the thing. Spirit Reaper, get in there. I'm going to banish a light and a dark. And main phase two, Chaos Emperor for game. <laughs> Oh, it feels good. Uh, yeah, that actually, I, I, I think I lied. That actually kind of felt bad. I, maybe, maybe, maybe it was a little too powerful. Maybe I was a little bit of a bully there. Maybe, maybe the DM staples are a little too good. But this is for me. I'm here for me, baby. Well, that was not a great turnout for the uh, Demok Turbo deck. You would th you you would think something that has the ability to summon triple Demok would be pretty good, but unfortunately, it did not turn out great for them. But we have a somehow even sicker list in front of us. This is Inca Loop. This is a deck designed to summon a Sun Dragon and Moon Dragon and loop them. And it is so cool looking. I'm not sure how effective it's going to be, but I'm really excited to play against it. And it, to some extent, checks my triple Raigeki because Sun Dragon and Moon Dragon will bring themselves back. This is going to be an interesting one. I look forward to seeing what will happen. I may get smote for this one. I asked chat, can RJ kill God? The gods of the sun and moon, will they die today? They had the option to tell me, no, only a God can kill a God, but 94% of them agreed with me. I don't see any God here, but me. So let's get into it. All right, starting off, rock, paper, scissors. I've won rock, paper, scissors. I think we always go first. Even if we don't draw going first, look at this hand. Yeah, we had to go first. We're going to set Shining Angel, I think. And we'll go to end phase. This is a ridiculous hand, although I don't think there's such thing as a non-ridiculous hand. That's not true. We saw last match I opened with the worst hand possible. Synchro Overtake, we're going to go for Ascator Dawnwalker, discarding Red Layer. Interesting choice. There is the Sun Dragon Inti. We've got, of course, our Shining Angel. Uh, I think we, we do activate this. The question is, do we summon... Yeah, we'll summon another Shining Angel here because we do have Raigeki in hand and they do not have Moon Dragon yet. Ooh, there is a painful choice. Okay, can we make them give us Yada? Let's see if we can make them give us Yada. All right, we've got to send... We've got to send a Shining Angel, a Mystic Tomato. Oh, is it random? It's a random card pick. That's okay. They will they they will give us Yada. Uh the second Sangan. And a uh, I want all of these cards in my hand. Phoenix Wing One Blast. 
Actually, no, I needed Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. No, wait. <laughs> that card's really good against them. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh-oh. Uh, well, that was a bad decision on my part, but at least we have Raigeki right now. Oh, there's that card, too. Um... That destroys Spellcaster, or it is a Spellcaster. We could just take it. Uh, or we could try before it. I think we try before it. We go for a Spellcaster. Uh, and let's get in. What? Oh. Well, we're just going to go for it again. <laughs> Tribe too strong. The next time they summon a Synchro, I am absolutely snatch dealing it though. Synchro call. Okay. The AI is really good at running this deck. Have y'all noticed this? The AI is cracked at running this list. But all things must come to an end. I have Pot of Greed into Snatch Steel. Uh, do I just Monster Reborn the Sun Dragon? Reborn the Sun! I am the only god I see here! Give me the Sun Dragon, Inti! Battle phase! Shining Angel! God of the moon! God of the sun! Main phase two will just set Io and, you know, <laughs> here go. Yeah, you, you, here you go, Snatch Steel. You may have a thousand life points back. What did I tell you? Not only is it true that only a god can kill a god. But I am the only god here. The, you're right, Zach. The sun and moon know who the real god is here. Game two. So that actually looked pretty sick. They did a pretty good job. Ordeal of a Traveler is an obvious include here. I think we bring in Ordeal of a Traveler over Io. Like, Io is probably the better card, but I hate it. Honestly, Royal Oppression is probably a pretty good card. Uh, otherwise, I think this deck is perfect. I I am just going to run it back other than that, because we've got Jaugen if we really need it. They do have a lot of graveyard BS. End of Anubis over a Chaos Orc, you got it. There we go. All right. Let the game begin. This is an unbelievable hand. Uh, let's start off with Pot of Greed. Think that I'm invisible. No, 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 no. Sometimes you're just too good at the game if you get... <gasps> I'll... You know what? You know what? You know what? I'll take it. Think that I'm invisible. Oh, no, 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 no. We're just going to use the moth to... How fucking dare? How dare you? Oh, it didn't matter. Okay, well, uh, let's go Painful Choice. I've drawn Painful Choice basically every game of this match so far. In Ancient Forest is a little bit of a problem, I won't lie, but we still have outs to it. Let's go for... What's Painful? I don't want to see against Ancient Forest. I don't want to see Mystic Tomato or Shining Angel. I could be convinced. I could put, hmm, let's put an End of Anubis. A uh, Tribe is bad and a Chaos Orc. They gave us the Chaos Orc, which honestly I'm not pressed about. Uh, let's just normal summon Sangan. We can just get the, the endless train of Sangans going. Let's fire off the Magician of Faith into them. There's no way I'm reflipping this card. Uh, that card is perfectly fine. Yeah. 
Thank you for negating the attack. Wait, they negated the attack and didn't summon a dude. <laughs> Destroy the Sangin. Thank you very much. I will take a Witch of the Black Forest for that one. And main phase two, we'll just ordeal the Traveler and we'll just we'll just keep up this particular ruse until I draw Heavy Storm. Okay, here we go. Supe Duskwalker. Okay. We're going to go for Synchro Call. We're going to bring back Interplanetary Purpley Thorny Dragon. We are indeed going to Ordeal of a Traveler, and we will chain Ordeal of a Traveler. Guess now, asshole. Called Monster, it's Raigeki. It would have been the doom of you anyway. The only problem here is that I can't run over Duskwalker. But you know what could? I'm tempted... Yeah, what if we just normal summon scientists and then Thousand Eyes Restrict and then just let Thousand Eyes Restrict go back to the extra deck during the end phase? We can attack in with Moth. Yoinky Splinky. And then if need be in the future, we can Wing Blast the ancient forest and go off. Why can't we attack with Moth? Why can't we attack with Moth? Oh, Thousand Eyes Restrict. I know how this card works. This is why I can absolutely be trusted with DM staples. End phase! There goes Scientist and there goes their card. Scientist is kind of nutty this format. Here comes Red Layer. That's kind of sick. Red Layer into Scientist. Let's go Ordeal of a Traveler! They chose spell cards and they hit a 50% chance of it being a spell card. They're just going to go red layer again. Uh, I should have known that was a thing that it could do. Let's see. Ooh. Ah. Uh, hmm. We could get a lot done this turn. I don't think we can win this turn, but we could certainly get a lot done and set up for next turn. Oh, this is a little bit crusty, honestly. This is a little bit weird. A little bit strange. Ancient Forest is a hell of a card. Because we can't Scientist and attack in the same turn. We have Lethal with Reborn. Because we would... Oh, because we have Raigeki. We can double Chaos Sork Raigeki. How many lights do we have? We do not have the lights to double Chaos Sork for Raigeki. Or double Chaos Sork Raigeki. Hawk. Let's just Raigeki. And then we can summon Witch. And attack in with Witch Moth. And then I think we have it next turn. Alright. And then we will go end phase. No response. Still no response. And then off of... Witch... I am somewhat inclined to grab the second copy of Moth. Maybe that's the wrong choice, but I'm not totally sure. Synchro Overtake. Okay. Oh, Yada would have been smart. That's a good point, Renee. I could have gone for Yada, and then I could have wing blasted back Ancient Forest and done a Yada lock. Well, this is definitely lethal if it wasn't before. I think Emperor just does it here, right? Yeah. I'm going to banish a light and a dark. And we will banish a light and a dark. Uh, and then we just go battle phase, I guess. It's just attack over with scientist. Uh, we'll attack in with chaos orc, and we'll attack in with emperor. And then main phase two, we get our.
we get our second Emperor Win gaming phase two. I totally forgot about Ancient Forest for a second there. <laughs> Worked out great. That deck was sick. That deck, I, I want to say submit that to the ladder, but it might just be too good. Our third competitor is a deck that people just predicted would take over the meta anyway. Danger Dark World. This deck looks unbelievable. It's got the Ashizu cards. It's got, of course, the Dangers and Dark Worlds, but it also happens to have... Three copies of Pot of Greed, three copies of Pot of Avarice, three Graceful Charity, and Grass in it. It also has one copy of the Ho Head of Exodia, but it's got one Sleeper Agent built into it. One card that could turn everything around. Five-Headed Link Dragon. Five-Headed Link Dragon is a Link 5 monster, which means that if they ever get to five monsters on the board, they will wipe them all away for this 5,000 attack point monster. Now, this monster can't be destroyed by anything, but if it ever survives long enough, it will probably destroy everything that they have and love. I am probably going to lose. I asked Chad if I'm in danger. 13% of them thought... <laughs> I'm in danger. But everybody else said I'm fine. There's no way a deck that people said should have kept cards banned for a while, but with Graceful Charity added in could beat me, right? Well, we're about to see. Let the games begin. All right, picking scissors, it's worked for me. We go, I think we have to go first and hope we draw into IO. Okay, we drew IO. I am not going to immediately lose to Graceful Charity. Let's set Sangan set IO pass. Surely they won't just draw dangers instead of spell cards, right? Surely they won't just draw dangers instead of spell cards, right? What are we going to hit? Oh, we hit the Suchinoko rip. Okay, danger Thunderbird. Okay, come on. Come on. Uh, we hit the Mothman. Okay, actually, Mothman is better for them to hit than Thunderbird. Uh, I will discard Chaos Orc here. Uh, which isn't going to matter because Agido is going to shuffle thing. Oh, no, it's going to mill me a fuckton. Oh, you bet you are booty I am IOing this graceful charity. No shot I am letting you do that. We're going for another Danger Mothman. Okay, they are getting dangerously close. All right, I think we need to add Scientist in this hand. I think Scientist is the wave here. This way we can get meta off. They have four monsters, but not quite five we can break this board oh my god i am on the brink of death here uh no we are not paying 700 life points that would kill me but but we are in fantastic shape here yeah that io really and truly did save me i was right to be concerned about that but now we have the boy magical scientist magical scientist into metamorphosis is that the play here or do we just snatch steel we could go tribe tribe wouldn't totally break the board oh scientist is dead well we could meta uh, we could meta here still I think Snatch Steel the Bird is probably the way to go here. I'm honestly tempted to hold the Snatch Steel go for meta here. I think we we hold the Snatch Steel go for meta, get Thousand Eyes. Ooh, but that doesn't clear the board. If they get another monster, we they would need to get two monsters into rotation. That's not terribly difficult. Yeah, I think that we go for Metamorphosis here. I haven't gotten to use this card properly yet. I am going to go for Metamorphosis. We're going to send away our Magical Scientist to summon Thousand Eyes Restrict. Then I will activate Thousand Eyes Restrict, taking the Burb. And out of these monsters on the field, I think actually the one to take out is Brow because the other ones have a potential to be resurrected off of each other's effects in hand. Not really sure, but I think this is fine either way. Thousand Eyes Restrict really doing its thing. Grass is an issue. Is it a big issue? Not clear yet. 
but it could be an issue. They've got Gates, but Gates doesn't do anything here. We are still in this game. Raigeki is huge. I don't know if we even bother to use Raigeki here. I'm a little tempted to go heavy and then steal another monster off of Thousand Eyes, but as long as we have Thousand Eyes, it doesn't really matter that they have Gates. Honestly, I think we just kill the Tsuchinoko? Okay, yeah, let's go for, let's do the play. Let's go for Heavy Storm. And then I am going to eat Mothman off of Thousand Eyes. And let's go into battle. This feels a little bit risky because Thousand Eyes is significantly smaller now. Hopefully this doesn't come back to bite us. Danger Chupacabra. Okay, they of course hit the Chupacabra, which brings back... Oh, they can't attack. I forgot about Thousand Eyes Restrict. God, isn't this a wonderful card? Let's just... <laughs> let's just Raigeki. Why not? Thousand Eyes Restrict is just Thousand Eyes Restrict. I'll attack in, yeah. Main phase two, I'll just set a back row and pass. I kind of wish I had a bigger Thousand Eyes just to be able to, you know, attack more effectively. Mothman hits. Uh, I'm going to pitch Shining Angel here in case we get into something like a CED and want to activate it. Uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict. I honestly don't think they have an out to Thousand Eyes. Somebody called out Bigfoot as a potential out to this, but I think we're in a very, very good position. Jackalope hits Jackalope, obviously. They're going to summon Nessie in defense. Nessie is a little bit awkward for us. I don't think we have an out to this Nessie currently. I'm tempted to Sangan Torrential. Let's go Tribe. We will activate Tribe. We'll pitch our Sangan. We honestly probably could have gotten away with... Uh... Hilariously, Tribe will kill itself to kill Nessie here. Amazing. Uh, and, and we'll pass. Graceful Charity is concerning, but it hits nothing. Graceful Charity hits nothing, and that will do it for us. Game one, that was a little bit of a nail-biter. I will not lie. We got down to 700 life points and still won. What a game. Let's go to game two. All right, I think we bring in End of Anubis, right? End of Anubis and Banisher. Soul Release is a little weird, right? Because it gets rid of Grapha, but like, what else does it do against their boards? Reduces Grave Count for 5 God Dragon. That's true. We didn't see 5 God Dragon, but that's fair. What cards have been bad against them? I think Trunade is probably bad. Okay. I think we want Spirit Reaper. Uh, Painful probably out. Yeah, Soul Release. Maybe Oppression? I mean, they nearly killed me last time. Torrential Tribute. See, the thing is, Torrential Tribute is going to be one of my few ways to avoid getting 5 Godded, right? Yeah, I think Torrential is really good. Let's take out Yada. I think Yada is a meme against this deck. 3 Reaper? Yeah. We just have to never attack with Reaper. <laughs> oh, this configuration looks so good against this deck. All right, so we're we're running all the Reapers. Uh, We are... We are running all the oppressions, we're running all the floodgates, and we're running it back. Let's go. Uh, soul release is good, meta is bad on this board, but pretty good otherwise. I think we set Spirit Reaper Pass. I think that's... Uh, honestly, Sangan might have been the real move there in case that they hit a Thunderbird. There goes Grass, that's not good for us. They're going to load up the grave, they've got... And a Shizu card. They're going to mill a bunch of stuff. There's Nessie. Nessie hit Nessie. Excellent. Love to see it. Uh, Thunderbird. Thunderbird is actually really bad if it gets discarded. They discarded Pot of Greed, thankfully. But here's Graceful Charity. They have resolved the Thunderbird. And now we are boned. We just have to make sure they don't get enough monsters onto the board. Graceful Charity is going to promise that they do. There's a... Agido, uh, they've got the Danger Mothman. Okay, they are really working on getting to those five monsters on board. I think that we discard. Uh, honestly, Meta is one of our few chances at winning here. Chaos Orc is really good into this hand. 
but meta is bad with what we've got. Uh, they're going to attack in. They're not going to actually deal that colossal amount of damage to me because their monsters don't do a huge amount. Actually, uh, Chaos Orc is phenomenal here, as is Jaugen. Ooh, okay. All right, this board could be something. Let's see what we've got to work with. I'm kind of tempted to just normal summon Jaugen here. Not sure what we banish for soul release yet. Maybe Bigfoot, Snow, or do we wait for Graffa? The only problem I see with uh, Jaugen is it could hit Chaos Orc. Let's set soul release. I'm going to normal summon Jaugen. Let's activate Jaugen, see what we hit. We hit Sangan. Okay, we send everything but the Kelbeck because Kelbeck was normal summoned. Kelbeck, Kelbeck was normal summoned. That was not a good move on my part. I totally forgot that the Kelbeck was normal summoned. Let's go soul release. Uh, I think we need to hit Snow. We hit Nessie. Not Nessie. We hit Thunderbird. We've already hit a Snow. We'll hit Kelbuck, Bigfoot. And the last Snow? All right. Uh, and that's the turn. We are going to rely on them not being able to kill us this turn. Uh, the summoning two guys will certainly not help us with this. But they are the Ishizu guys. I am never letting anybody talk me into... Jaugen ever again. Let's go for Chaos Orc. I am going to banish Chaos Orc. Oh, I've got three Moth and Grave. That's hilarious. Let's just actually banish Kel back here. And then I'm going to set Shining Angel Pass. I think this is the play. Here's Danger Chupacabra. We're going to normal summon Graffa, and that will do it. Oh, why did I let chat talk me into doing the Jaugen play? Just summoning Chaos Sork would have done it. But I had to get fancy. Game three. God, every time I get ch talked into anything having to do with Jaugen, I regret it. Okay, well, we open with Pot of Greed. Actually, this might be the situation for Jaugen. If there was ever a situation for Jaugen, it is this one exactly. Uh, let's just normal summon Jaugen pass, honestly. <laughs> what are they going to do? Danger me? <laughs> Go right ahead. Do your worst. Chupacabra. Hell yeah. Hitting the danger, Mothman. What are you going to do? Um, Let's send... A moth off of this? Yeah, let's send moth. Another chupacabra. They hit the Kelbeck. That's not ideal. They hit another Kelbeck. We're just sending absolutely everything. There goes the chupacabra. They're going to keep chupacabra. They're just going to keep chuping. Wait, this is incredible. This is amazing. Look at it go. <laughs> I am the greatest player of all time. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot now use any of the cards in our hand, but we can switch Jaugen to defense and just normal summon Mystic Tomato. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> that was the most incredible turn I have ever watched in my life. Gate the Dark World, sure. Enjoy, enjoy your gate. We're going to normal summon Shining Angel. We don't need to special summon. We have a tomato and a gay man. Let's go. Main phase two, gonna set that IO and pass. Uh. Ooh, 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 do we do it? Do we let them discard? I mean, the only thing... Nah, we IO. We're not letting you get this one. It's game three. Oh, they're just going to normal summon snow. Well, kind of glad... No, I'm not gonna... I, I, I drew the second IO. Let's just write Geki. <laughs> I should actually be setting Moth here. 
Battle phase, uh, we'll just attack in. Main phase two, we'll just set the IO again. <laughs> There's Bigfoot. Uh, nothing we could actually do about Bigfoot here. Bigfoot's a little bit of a problem. Oh, they hit the Jougan. They're too cracked. But it is too little too late. I'm going to flip them off just because I want to activate Pot of Greed again. I just It's just because I want to activate Pot of Greed again. That's my entire reasoning for flip summoning Moth here is because I want to activate Pot of Greed. Uh, and you know what? We're going to banish a light and a dark from the graveyard. We'll get rid of Chaos Sorcerer's Brethren, and we'll go in for a game. You thought you could beat me with this. You thought, you thought that this tier zero deck could beat me while well, I am the only tier zero. That last one was a nail biter, but it's time for the finale. And what would the finale be but playing against Literal Burger Bot? This is Hungry Burger Drytron using the new Hungry Burger, Hungry Burger, <laughs> Hungry Burger support, the New Valet Monsters. I don't know how these work in particular. I've seen them, I've read them, and I know that this one right here, Bay Griller, is incredible. It is a burger, the burger wipe, a board wipe, and it's some. Summons Hungry Burger from deck, of course, the greatest ritual monster of all time. I am so excited to play against this deck. I can't wait. Now I asked chat if they should let the bot cook. And 90% of people said, nah, the bot ain't cooking shit. 10% said that I'm the one who's cooked today, but we'll see about that. Let the cooking begin. All right, we're going to go first. I, I said we're going to go first, and I didn't lie. We're going to open with probably the worst hand I've opened yet. I suppose Sangan's set Wing Blast Pass isn't terrible. Let's go for it and see what happens. Okay, uh, we've got ourselves a Drytron. We're revealing Burger to get Cyber Emergency, an incredible card in this deck. That'll get us our second Drytron. That'll get us our... Uh, Lita Delta? Altice. Altice is what it's called. Okay. Uh, they're going to get a table. A table is you can add a recipe card from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Once per turn, you can place a ritual monster from your hand on the bottom of your deck and draw a card. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. A table is a-okay. Altice is going to discard a Alpha Thuban, we've got, uh, uh, I, these are so many different names. Alpha, uh, Al Alpha Thuban for Atabla. Oh no, they're revealing Atabla. There's the Medionis Drytron. Let's see it. What are we doing? You're destroying my card. Um, yeah, honestly, this card. Oh no, we can't target this card. We cannot target this card with Wing Blast or else we are boned. I actually probably shouldn't have activated this Wing Blast. We will put back... Altice. We're going to get the burger. Okay, let's see how this goes. We're going Medionis Drytron. Medionis Drytron again, brings it back. This is a fascinating turn of events. Really incredible that this, oh. Not bad. Not bad at all. No, oh, we got negated. Okay, we'll just ride Geki and continue on our merry ways. Flip summon Sangian. Let's get in. We're not in the best of shape right now. I mean, if they run over our sand gin, we'll just get moff. Aha, you're Aldeba. Uh, uh, Al Can't beat our sand gin. Here's Alpha Thuban. Okay. Still don't know what a single one of these cards does. Uh-oh, they summoned the four. You're just going to put those back in my deck? Thank you. I appreciate it. 
<gasps> oh wait, I still get Sangan. Uh, Sangan is pretty good here. I think we take Moff to try and get some stuff back. Uh, Moff, or we could honestly go for Tamat. Jaugen's also pretty good. Oh, Jaugen actually ends the game, doesn't it? Okay, we're just gonna go Jaugen. I don't think they have a single normal summon in the deck. Oh, there's Moff. Nice. Do we have Snatch Steel in the graveyard to get back off of Moff? Uh, dip, 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 dip. Let's, let's just go Lightning Strike number two. Normal summon, 200 attack beats in. Let's go. I don't know if they have a single normal summon available to them. I don't... Maybe they have like a Manju? There goes Atabla. Okay. Atabla no, numero... No, wait, I, I don't know French. Uh, the, the second uh, tabla put back the Borger. Prep of rights. That's okay. That still doesn't do anything to our hand. Jaugen is unbeatable. Let's go. <laughs> do we attack again with the Jaugen? Minus 200 again. The 30 turn clock. All right. Main phase two will set. We'll set Io. Numero du. Duh, duh, duh. I know that one. Oh, you fool. I kind of just want to let them have East or Harpy's Feather Duster here. Uh, we can IO. It doesn't hurt us. Oh, no. Oh, no. A tabla for nothing. A tabla for nada. Uh, no. I, I will happily take a pot of greed. Thank you very much. We'll just normal summon Shining Angel. Let's get in there. So there is nothing on tabla. Nothing on the table. The table is empty. Barrick the Cleric, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the raid. We are taking on literal burger bot. We are taking on the Hungry Burger Nouvelet deck with our Jaugen the Spiritualist, mostly. All right. A tabla. A tabla. A ta pass. Let's go. Shining Angel too strong. Let's get in. Wow, Jaugen is really the Imperial Order of this episode, isn't it? All right, here goes Atabla. And they draw. All right, we get Raigeki. Um, I'm kind of tempted to flip Moth for Pot of Greed. Yeah, let's do it. I am greedy. Let's get Pot of Greed back. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Mirror Force is the worst that could happen. But I'd like to have Pot of Greed if I get Mirror Force. Yo, the second Pot of Greed. Let's go. <laughs> uh, Yeah, let's just normal summon Witch. Think that I'm invisible. Sure, I'll attack with Moth. And we'll pass. Battle phase. Go, witch! End this game once and for all. That was a surprisingly long game for game one. All right, so Jaugen, we have discovered, is just unbeatable. Uh, Jaugen is unbeatable, I think... Honestly, Ordeal of a Traveler might be the silliest thing we could do here. I think we even could take out Scientist in this matchup, right? Because Scientist targets, well, Thousand Eyes restrict targets. Yeah, and uh, Royal Oppression, just for, you know, to make it fun. Can they out Reaper? Yes, they can very easily out Reaper. Reaper is very outable for their deck. I think we got it. I don't think this deck can be beaten. Side decking completed. This is certainly a hand. I'm a little sad that we can't use Moth in this hand. It would be nice if I had opened Pog. But we always have Royal Oppression for that. <laughs> this is just cruel. This is just mean. <laughs> 
Shining Angel, let's go! <laughs> That's a good question, Amphi. I wonder if it would negate its own special summons. Would it just go click yes turbo on Royal Oppression? Maybe we should let it get one in. Let's see what happens. We can let them get one. They did not negate it. They did not negate it. Click yes turbo did not work out. Yeah, we're going to oppression this one. Maybe we should have let them put the Drytrons on the board and then oppression the, the ritual spell. <laughs> Yorgo! Oh, the AI can't chain to itself. Boo. All right. Moth, get in there. We are so close to being able to Yada lock. We are so close to being able to Yada lock right now. I kind of want to let them summon enough monsters to let us Yada lock. Well, uh, we're going to get our wish, I suppose. Oh, no, we're not because they're going to pass. Okay, we have Sangan. I guess we're just going to normal summon Sangan. Yeah, Monster Reborn does win. Oh, we can't use Reborn here. Okay. We have no monsters to target with Reborn. <laughs> okay. All right. They're cooking. They're cooking. Okay, hold up. We have our chance to Yada Lock. We have our chance to Yada Lock here, okay? Because if they destroy everything we have, right, we can double Raigeki that Monster Reborn CED. Yeah, we'll go Shining Angel. Uh, We'll summon fucking another Shining Angel. Okay, there is a burger on the field. That's true. I don't know how I missed it. Okay. Do we have it? No, they haven't destroyed enough monsters. Hold up. I know how we have to win this. There's only one way that this can end. Monster reborn. Target hungry burger. <laughs> Battle phase. Attack with hungry burger. You thought you could take the burger up against me? I am RJ the Burger Monarch. Well, that worked out great. Surely nothing could turn this into a ridiculous fiesta now. Well, if you thought I was done with this, then you were sorely mistaken. Although I suppose you are right in that I am done with the challenge. It's out of my hands now. And it's in Borgerbots, because today, the final finale, the last piece of the puzzle, is to take on progression decks themselves. Today, we are playing against the final DM decks of Gage and Simo from Progression Series Season 2. We're starting off with Gage's deck. Gage is on clown control and i'm gonna be real with you i don't think our deck has it out for this especially considering i will not be playing it borger bot will be taking over for me yes card for card we are playing an identical deck between my previous decks this episode and the deck that borger bot will be taking up against this i i have no idea what's going to happen but you can bet it will be chaotic this is the most even split we've had all night. I asked chat if Borgerbot could prevail. 48% of them said, was it ever a question? Because, you know, was it ever? But 52% think it's the age of gauge. Let's see if they're right. Well, the games begin. All right, Borgerbot has won the rock, paper, scissors. I think that means we go first. It does not mean we go first. They, uh, Gage, Gage AI, a, 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 Gage has opened with Giant Rat, and we've just fired off our Raigeki. With our deck, Raigeki is effectively just Fissure at this point. What? <laughs> wait, wait. 
this is incredible. This could not have turned out better for us. They used change of heart to sack Sandcat for support and then support the support. Yes. Oh, that was truly a tunnel move if I've ever seen one. Bro, I am sick. What a move. And now they're just setting monsters. If they get a gravity bind, we're still a little bit hosed, but we took out the pure advantage camel and now it's recruiters all day, baby. I don't think they have a single thing that deals with the recruiters. I say, oh, thank you. Thank you so much for bottomlessing that tribe infecting virus. I would have lost everything if you hadn't done that. Thank goodness. Now, if there is a Golem Sentry in play, we are a little bit in trouble. But we are doing okay so far. Jaugen is going to convince them to put a monster in attack position. It is the Dream Clown, which will get over the Jaugen, but that just gives us a nice, clean opening to get in for game. You know what? We'll snatch steal it for good measure, and we'll... Banish a Chaos Sork for the flex. Oh my goodness, you're cracked, bro! Borgerbot truly coming through in game number one. Having a C moment, if you will. All right, we're starting off hot with Pot of Greed and Normal Summon Sangin. You know, as openings go, that could have been worse. They're going to go Vengeful Bog Spirit, sure, set four pass. They're going to Raigeki Break Discard, Vampire Lord to target Sangin. Uh-oh, here comes the Gravity Bind. Hopefully, so <gasps> wait, 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 do it. Please, please do it. No, no, we could have done it. We could have had the Yada lock this turn, but instead we literally can't do anything. Okay, Breaker, Breaker, you know what to do. You know what to do, Breaker. Yes, Breaker knew what to do. Let's go. Oh, Bog Spirit doesn't, uh, would have prevented Yada. Okay, well, uh, that can't take away from the moment. Breaker outed the gravity bind is too good oh vampire lord is pretty good but zaborg sacking off the vampire lord this is actually okay for us the zaborg can't attack this turn and we definitely have outs or we could just take it i am very happy to be the first person to get to attack with zaborg we're summoning yada just to spectate this game yada is too good to attack and to gauge this turn snatch seal will give him back a thousand but we have Pretty much everything possible on the board, even if that's a golem sentry, we have the out. We're going to meta away the magical scientist and thousand eyes restrict to steal. Oh no. Uh oh. The only hope that we have is that the dream clown decides to destroy Thousand Eyes Restrict. Please let the Dream Clown switch to defense and destroy Thousand Eyes Restrict. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, it can't change its battle position because of Thousand Eyes Restrict. We're going to lose the game to deck out. Oh, the Exiled Force saves us. Thank you, Gage. Thank you, based Nim Nim, for taking out the Thousand Eyes Restrict. Oh, we were so screwed otherwise. Yeah, you can have the Blade Rabbit. That's fine. I am A-OK -okay with this Pot of Greed. Pot of Greed. Yadagarasu does Jack all. How do we not have a better normal summon at this point? Wow, the, the Gage bot, gay I, AI Gage is really on our side with this one. Between that bottomless trap hole and that exiled force really giving us uh really giving us a hand up in this match. Yada Garasu continuing to spectate. Surely, surely we have a better normal summon than Yada Garasu at this point. Surely we have a better normal summon than Yada Garasu at this point. We we must Mystical Space Typhoon is going to hit a Torrential Tribute. That's A-OK. -okay. Torrential Tribute wasn't going to do us any good into this board state anyway. We're going to continue to normal summon Yada Garasu. Wait, wait. Sukiyomi flipping Yada face down. Sukiyomi, pu uh, Sukiyomi puts itself back in the hand. Now we can't normal summon Yada next turn. This is perfect. This is perfect. We've got it. Phoenix Wing Wind Blast puts back our back row, but that doesn't matter. Giant Trunade's kind of sick. Wait, we have the Yada Lock, but we didn't use it. No! Oh, 
we had such a good opportunity there to Yada Lock and we didn't do anything with it. Ah, oh, unfortunate. We're of course going to Shining Angel and to Moth because why would we ever summon Jaugen the Spiritualist under these circumstances? Uh, Chaos Sork is at least going to get rid of the... Well, we get the Sangan. This could be worse, I suppose. Yo, Shining Angel actually. I didn't realize we had a normal summon. That was kind of ridiculous. Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End coming through for us. Tell me we didn't discard a Heavy Storm for that one. We're going to Chaos Orc targeting Chaos Orc. Chaos Orc, truly an incredible card in the AI's hands. Nobody has ever played anything quite as strong. Oh, no. They've got the Lakuda. They've got the pure advantage camel. Fortunately, that means there's a good chance they're going to deck out before we do, as long as they start flipping it, but they don't. Okay, come on. Come on. We need the heavy storm. We need the heavy storm. We need heavy storm, and we need tribe infecting virus not to activate. How have they drawn three Lakuda in a row? What is going on here? Okay, Thousand Eyes Restrict, please target yourself. Oh, God. Oh, no. This is terrible. Wait, wait. Level limit to hand. Level limit back to field. Okay, okay. Come on, tribe infecting virus. No, no, no. You know what, Chaos Sorcerer? I'll take it. I will take it. Chaos Sorcerer banishing the... <laughs> Change of heart to the Chaos Sorcerer. Wait, wait. No, they're getting all the draws. They're free to flip the Lakudas. No, the, the pure advantage camel is doing the pure advantage camel thing. Oh no, this is not good for us. Wait, wait, okay, come on. All right, I need you to flip it, summon those camels again. Please flip the camels again. Please flip the camels again. Yes, yes, flip the camels. Flip the camels, do it. Keep flipping the camels. Continue to flip camel. Continue to flip camel. The camel. Every turn that you get to... I'm sure, Imperial... Actually, Imperial Order's great for us. Imperial Order couldn't be better for us. It takes out the clown. Oh, and we have an Imperial Order of our own. That's okay. They're just going to keep their Imperial Order because why wouldn't they? And now we have monster. Monsters are back online again. We can do this. Mystic Tomato hitting in. Okay. We are still on. We're going to. We're going to activate the second IO. No problem. No problem. We still have them on a clock. I think. Probably. Hopefully. Maybe. Maybe. We actually kind of wanted them to do that. Okay. We need IO to not just kill us, or it might just kill them. I think that they have to send the IO for the pre errata version. We're about to find out, I suppose. As long as we don't end up paying exactly, okay, it will destroy itself. We are going to normal summon Sangan Pass. That's great for us. Gravity Bind is terrible, though. Oh, God. Uh, well, um... This is where we're at now. This is the state of the game. Golem Sentry going to flip itself face down for no effect. Are we really going to win by deck out? Are we really going to win by deck out? Is that how this is going to go down? Out of all the possible endings for this, winning by deck out is not what... That's actually really bad for us, isn't it? No, oh, cool. They sent Jaugen back. Okay, we're going to win by deck out. We are going to continue to win. <laughs> All right, please just have a monster. Just set a monster. Don't normal summon Jaugen. No, no, do not. No, no, not like this. Not like this. Not like this. No. <laughs> no, please, no. Wait, okay. Flip another Lakuda. Flip. They don't have another Lakuda. We were so close. We were this close. We were this close. Oh, the Sand Gamper game. We normal summoned the Jowgen. Just gonna call this Rip. Game two. Okay, let's go. 
We're going to start off with a normal summon, which this is usually pretty good for us. We really do like just hard normal summoning a dude, please sack for Zaborg. We're not going to sack for Zaborg, but they are going to go Nega Million this turn. We'll take some damage, but that's probably okay, especially if we have a recruiter in our hand. Gravity Bind? Giant Trunade. Giant Trunade does, uh, deals with Gravity Bind. We're going to go for the... You know, Thousand Eyes Restrict is possibly the best thing that we could have right now. Unfortunately, it's not going to be summoned in attack position, and so we're not going to do anything with it this turn. The Blade Rabbit is going to be normal summoned. We can switch the Thousand Eyes to attack position at this point and just start getting in. Uh, Breaker, however, has other plans for that Gravity Bind. This is not terrible. We can still get in with the Thousand Eyes Restrict, but it's good to know that we've gotten rid of the most threatening card in their deck. Thousand Eyes Restrict holding strong against their board. It won't be able to do anything against something like a Golem Sentry, and neither will a Blade. Why did we summon the Blade Rabbit in defense? We've got the Yada. Wait, wait, we're gonna. D we can't attack with the Yada because of the Thousand Eyes. God damn it. Thousand Eyes Restrict's effect of just really messing with us a bunch here. They're going to normal summon Giant Rat, but it won't do anything. Unfortunately, Thousand Eyes Restrict just does nothing on this board state. We're just going to be sitting here for a while, aren't we? We're just... We're just going to keep sitting here. We're just... We're just... Phoenix Wing Blast, please target the... Did not target the Thousand Eyes. Painful choice. What are we sending? All of the best cards in our deck. Snatch Steel. Chaos Arc. Hit the Thousand Eyes. Hit the Thousand Eyes. Hit the... It did not hit the Thousand Eyes, but Thousand Eyes can now attack again. Okay, I will take it. If Chaos Orc is going to banish a monster every turn and we're going to be able to hit in with Thousand Eyes, then I am A-OK -okay with this. Sukiyomi going to flip face down the Chaos Orc. That's okay. Sukiyomi going to go into battle phase. Unfortunately, this means that the Chaos Orc is going to banish itself next turn, most likely, unless it chooses not to flip for reasons unknown to me. Thousand Eyes Restrict is so bad here no thousand eyes restrict is so bad okay all right please attack in with tsukiyomi over thousand eyes uh-oh tsukiyomi back to the hand we are still sitting on this thousand eyes restrict but as long as we don't flip it face up we're in good shape why would we do that it has zero attack we had the yada lock we were we had them yada locked we were we were going to win the game. Flip, okay, Thousand Eyes Restrict. Face down. They're going to hit into the Blade Rabbit. This is okay. That means their next one is going to be Thousand Eyes Restrict. It has to be Thousand Eyes Restrict. Monster Reborn going to... Unless we bring back the goddamn Blade Rabbit again. Please don't flip the Thousand Eyes Restrict. You really have to keep flipping it face up that Thousand Eyes Restrict. Come on. We had control over this game. And now they're at 9,700 life points. Uh, Sukiyomi gonna keep flipping the thousand. One of these days, we're not going to have a monster to summon that Sukiyomi will be able to take out. Snatch Deal mercifully going to stop giving them life points. Oh, this is actually cracked. Now we can attack in with Thousand Eyes. Okay, we have things to do at this point. The only concern that I have is that they're going to flip Thousand Eyes face down, attack into something stupid with Sukiyomi. Okay, this'll do it. Sukiyomi is going to have to, uh... I don't know what is going to flip, if I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, what do you do on this board uh, state? Okay, Deslacuda can flip itself face down by its card effect, but they can't flip it face up by its normal flip which is bad for us. I suppose we got very close to decking out and the deck out did not help us out. There goes another camel. We're just going to be going into thou uh, into Imperial Order Wars, which is actually bad for us because our monsters are better when we have the higher life points than theirs are. We have a better ability to mess with them. Okay, Vampire Lord can't do anything into Thousand Eyes Restrict. Come on, surely we have better things we could do with our time here. Normal Summon Moth is terrible into this board state, especially considering we're just going to keep paying life points for IO. I suppose if there's any good news in this, I think we're going to end up with more life points than they will after the IO wars here. Um, come on. All, our only hope is that they exiled Force away the Thousand Eyes Restrict again. Uh, does Gage have Raigeki at this point? 
I don't think he does. I think only Simo had Raigeki at this point of the game. We have officially lost the IO wars here. 650, however, is the lowest or the highest life points we could have at the end of the IO wars. And as long as they still can't attack directly, I think we're going to become out the better in life points. But unfortunately, because of Thousand Eyes Restrict, Moth can't get to the fence position, which means that if they ever find a way to get rid of Thousand Eyes Restrict, we are just dead. We're just on a stalemated board state, and that is something we lose because of deck out. If we can get into Heavy Storm, maybe? Heavy Storm could... Did we already Heavy Storm? Did we already Heavy Storm and Trunade? Tell me we didn't both Heavy Storm and Trunade. We attacked into the Moth or the Witch. Okay, here's the Exiled Force. Actually, Exiled Force getting hit would be terrible here. If Thousand Eyes Restrict goes down, so do we because of the Magician of Faith face up. Oh, that actually is strangely helpful to us. If they normal summon another monster, Thousand Eyes Restrict can win us the game. Torrential Tribute. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, show me the Monster Reborn. Show me the Monster Reborn. Come on, we can do this. We can stay in this. No monster reborn. We're on no monsters. If they summon a single level three or lower, we have lost the game. We're going to torrential away the level limit area B. I am on the edge of my seat. What do they have? No, it's Dream Clown. Wait, why didn't they? Have oh, Vengeful Bog Spirit. Vengeful Bog Spirit keeping us in this game. We've set a monster face down. As long as they can't attack with multiple monsters, we are in good shape here. What are they going to summon? Yada. Yada doesn't do anything except... Oh, it doesn't do anything because of the Vengeful Bog Spear. I keep forgetting about the Vengeful Bog Spirit under this board state. I will happily take a Pot of Greed, especially if it gives us access to Heavy Storm. I still don't know if we've used any of our... No. Not like this. Not like this. How? How could it have ended like this? We were ahead the entire match! No! This was the worst. After such a crushing defeat, it's hard to go on. But we have to press on because how could the dual monsters season possibly end in any other way besides Borgerbot versus Simobot? This is Simo's final dual monsters era deck, and this one looks formidable, but honestly, Maybe this is one we can win. Without Gravity Bind in play, we may actually have access to the majority of our monsters, as long as Thousand Eyes Restrict doesn't have anything to say about it. This is Borgerbot's last chance for the season, and it's an epic chance at that. I just said the word epic. I can't come back from this. It's all over. I asked chat, who will win? Their options were Simobot! And 14% of them went with that. But the believers, the believers just like me, 86% said Borgar. And that is where I am. Last match of the season, folks. Let the games begin. All right, starting off with a heated rock, paper, scissors that Borgerbot ended up winning. We go to the main phase. We've got painful choice. We're going to dump every good card out of our deck. We're going to Monster Reborn back a, a tribe infecting virus and discard Imperial Order to destroy itself. We're going to Scientist summoning out a Thousand Eyes Restrict. We're going to do nothing. And then they're going to go back to the hand during the advance. Wow, that was just about the worst turn ever. Confiscation going to take out the last card in our hand. Chaos Emperor Dragon would have been a great thing to have around if we had monsters in the graveyard. Torrential Tribute at least is going to take out that Mystic Tomato. Threatening Roar negs Simo too. So at least we have something. And Shining Angel provides board presence at the very least. Ah. Uh, the Threatening War at least did something there. Oh no, they got Pot of Greed into Homunculus. I don't think there is a card in my deck that beats Homunculus. Certainly not Magician of Faith. We couldn't have thought of a single monster that would have been better to summon off of the Shining Angel than Magician of Faith. You know, like another Shining Angel. Homunculus is going to use its effect to make itself water. We're going to fissure away the moth. Sure, I'll take it. I... Uh, 
Berserker land to Shining Angel, Shining Angel into Jaugen. Jaugen is going to get destroyed by... Why don't we ever summon recruiters off of recruiters? I'll take a Raigeki, though, that clears away Alex's board presence, and although we don't have any of our own, we know that Alex runs, like, a total of two monsters in his deck. He does happen to draw one of them, though, because... Why would Simo ever not get lucky, even in bot form? We set a monster. Hopefully this is like uh, the third Shining Angel. The sh you know, we could have not drawn into this card were we summoning Shining Angels off our Shining Angel. Actually, okay. I, I believe now. I shouldn't have doubted your bur burger bot. We now have the Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke in our possession. They're going to Exiled Force Away, Thousand Eyes Restrict, but basically our whole deck is live now. Sangan is just about the most live of them all. Berserk Gorilla, however, though, is going to be a little bit of a problem for us. If they can summon another monster, we are done so. And we are... Oh, unfortunately fortunate. God, Simo is just the luckiest motherfucker in all iterations. Game two, let's see if we can outlive the sea moments of all time. You'd think, with like five monsters in his deck, you'd think he could sometimes not draw one of them. Opening with the homunculus isn't great for us. Homunculus is a big monster and we have very few of those ourselves, but Pot of Greed is strong. Giant Trunade is not so much. Wow, that is some back row. Phoenix Wing Wind Blast hitting the Bunculus, and we'll bring back the hell of a combo we just did there. Imperial Order is going to activate. This means that the Alex bot will not be able to accomplish much under here. The Witch is going to get us into a Moth. Please tell me that we are going to set that Moth face down instead of normal summoning it, or we at least can summon another monster. No, of course we have to normal summon it, the Magician of Faith. I think Witch has good targets in here. Why did we go after the dinky magician of faith what is going on have we been infected by the gauge bot are we tunneling onto the magician of faith is a terrible card under these circumstances unless we're setting it why would we surely we have monsters we can summon surely surely chaos sork torrential tribute that's okay if we have a normal summon of course we don't, and Simo's just going to draw into his best monster. I guess I wasn't lying. I guess I wasn't lying when I said that Simo was going to draw into his best monster. How did we lose all of this? I suppose this is on me. Because I... I did give... Borger bot an impossible task today. I gave it a bunch of cards it couldn't be trusted to use against a couple of decks that could literally be played by a bot. <laughs> Damn, I lost another week. <laughs> well, folks, that is it. That is the DM era. Next time round, we are going to be introducing a massive ban list that will knock almost every card that you have seen in this series so far out of contention. We're going to take a little bit of a break before the next season, but it's been a hell of a season this time, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Go forward in humble confidence, my friends, and I hope you have a lovely evening.